Hi everybody, Jessie here from jessiebanks.com and I'm back with a super exciting video. Ignore my nasty nails. I was at soccer tonight and I've been busy. But I have my very first stamp set for you guys from Whimsy Stamps. It is a sentiment set. I created it myself. I've always been very, very picky about my sentiments and it takes me a long time to find sets, sentiment sets that I really, really enjoy. And I love this one. And I created it. Look, look, coolest part ever. Look, my name's on the back of it. How awesome is this? Anyway, I'm so excited. So the first stamp set I have is called, sorry, I dropped it. I was excited. It's called Happy Birthday to You. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine sentiments and some little icons in it here. So I've got Happy Birthday. Age is just a number and yours is really high. How do you expect me to remember it's your birthday when you never look any older? Hope it was great. Happy birthday in a different font. So this one's really scripty and swirly. This one's hand, like, like printing, writing type deal. I've got big birthday wishes. Wishing you a... And then HB to you, so happy birthday to you. Another handwritten happy birthday. And this is my favorite sentiment out of the entire set says, you were born on this day, so we are going to put fire sticks on baked goods and sing to you while you sing to you while you sit there awkwardly. Because that's something we do to people and it's hilarious. So in this set, what I did was I enjoyed putting all of the sentiments together and everything else, and I have some dots and some lines that you can layer in with these and of course other sentiment sets and things of that nature too. I have one card here to kind of show you like I used um, this happy birthday set and then I used this dot here to put a dot on either side of it. But what I really like is you can take this is just a scrap piece of white paper here. Of course I'm going to go out of focus because why would I stay in focus? Anyway, um, you can take these lines and things and create things. So you can put like um, take your age is just a number and yours is really high, right? And you can put it on here. Now, when I first get these, I usually sand my stamps or use an eraser or whatever. This is a glue eraser. I use it for like watercolor masking fluid and stuff. And I just run that over the top. Sometimes clear stamps have a bit of a film on them just from the way they're processed. And that just takes it off so that they stamp really nice all the time. And I'm going to use a VersaFine Onyx Black ink, and I'm going to ink that up. And this coolest part about this thing is, I created it and it actually stamps. <laughs> so I'm just gonna straighten out my paper here a little bit so that I can possibly use this after. So we're gonna stamp this part here. Okay, so there's our sentiment. Age is just a number and yours is really high. And then I'm going to take the small line out of this set. So it's just a straight line. You can use it for all sorts of things like balloon strings and that nature too. Then I'm going to set it down on my table to make sure when I pick it up that it's going to be straight. Right? Because I don't want it to be crooked. Actually, it's not going to stand. Now it's not going to stand for me because that would... But I'm just going to lay it on there. Right? And again, I'm going to run my eraser over it like I do with all of my new set stamps. And we're going to ink that up. And I'm going to stamp this underneath to kind of give it a bit of a divider. And I love that because it's, it's thick enough, but it's not obnoxiously thick and it's not too thin. And that was a lot of the thought that I put into this set. I'm going to take this happy birthday one here. Um, was lots of things that I've wanted in sentiment sets that I haven't been able to find. So things like um, a line to put in between so I can conjoin different sentiments together. Or dots to add around my sentiments and things of that nature. That's, that's kind of stuff I look for when I buy a sentiment set. I want a sentiment stamp set, but I want it to be more than just a page full of sentiments. I want a couple icons on it and things of that nature. Just, that's what I like. So I created for everybody 
something that I enjoy. See, so you kind of get, you can combine all these sentiments so that you get a complete sentiment out of all of these little ones. I mean, that's not stamped perfectly straight. Of course, I'm just kind of playing with it here with you guys to show you what I was thinking of when I put it together. But it's, it's that kind of stuff. So then you could take like this dot and stamp it on the outside of either side. You could take their smaller ones as well. You can do something like that. You could use the solid one like I did on that one up there. You can also take these spots and create like bubbles in an underwater scene. So like I could have used them on this card and just made little bubbles around it. This is one of the new images from this release as well. I watercolored that one. But you could take them and you can stamp like the different sizes together and overlap them in things to create bubbles and rings and different things of that nature. You can use the solid ones with different colors and create like a small bokeh bath background. It's super fun. You can emboss them. Like, and I love how they stamp out. It's amazing how the sentiments can be so dainty. I just want to put these circles back so I don't lose them. The sentiments can be so dainty and they stamp so beautifully. Like this one here. This was the first one I stamped because I was like, that's a pretty small, like, that. that's, that's some tinier fonts and is it really going to stamp the way I was hoping it would when I created it because of course this was and is my first ever set and I'm babbling and I know I'm babbling but that's okay so I wanted to make sure that it was going to stamp as well as I had hoped it would and it does it stamps awesome now it missed there, that's simply because I'm stamping on a hard table and I don't have any foam underneath of it. But yeah, like you were born on this day and we are go so we are going to put fire sticks on baked goods and sing to you while you sit there awkwardly. Like this one as well, I haven't stamped this one yet. This is the long one. This one's perfect, especially for the inside of cards because it's nice and wide. Like this one is four, it's a square card, but it's four and a quarter across. Like that'll fit beautifully on the inside of a card. It's nice and wide, it's not too wide. All that kind of fun stuff, so. But we'll erase this one because I haven't used it. And ink it up. Stamp. Look at how crisp and clear that is. Like, that's so awesome. That's so awesome. Like, they're all so great. They're all so great. I'm still, like, in a little bit of shock that I was given the opportunity to do this. This has been, like, a bucket list thing to make a stamp set, so it's, it's just awesome. I'm going to pull these all off and stamp them for you as I'm sitting here babbling, by the way. Just so y'all know. But I like the, the mixture of fonts. I like the dots and spots. I like how there's a few different versions of Happy Birthday. And I like everything about this set. I like that the Big Birthday Wishes is more of like a childhood, a childish font. This spot belongs up here. It's nice and big and bold and it'll be great for cards. I have a sun and that's why that stamp ended up in there because I was like, ooh, that's like a boyish font. I'm doing lots of girly things, but I mean, I have a seven year old son and he really enjoys when I make boy themed cards because they don't happen all the time. I didn't even erase that one and look how nice that stamped. That's awesome. Awesome. Everybody should own this stamp set because it's mine. 
Just saying. <laughs> because it's mine. So here's this one. And I have one more to share with you guys. And this one says, wishing you a. Ah. So you can put this like on top of the big birthday wishes. You can put this on top of any of the happy birthdays. Okay. So I think, I think it's just, I mean, I know I'm a little bit biased because it's my sentiment set, but I really think it's a wonderful stamp set. And I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Again, it's called um, Happy Birthday to You. And it will be released today, the 17th of May, 2017. And you can pick it up over at Whimsy Stamps. I will have the link in the description box down below. Um, these are all of the stamps you get. So there are all the sentiments. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sentiments. And then you get two lines and four, five, six, seven, Eight dots so there's lots of variety and things you can mix up and things of that nature I will have more videos coming of course with cards using these sentiments and pictures of cards using these sentiments and you'll see them lots on my blog in the next while so definitely pop over to my blog and check that out and I hope you guys will purchase them and I hope you guys like them let me know what you think of them in the description box down below thanks for watching bye